All right, y'all. Well, welcome back for another Big Bass Family Adventure. And today is our last day. We are wrapping up this trip to Fall Creek Falls State Park in Tennessee. And today we have a long road trip home in the RV. And every day is an adventure with this wild family, especially on a big, long road trip like this. So strap on up and uh, let's see what the adventure holds. And we just give such great thanks to Jesus who gives us this beautiful life, who gives us peace in the midst of turmoil, who is our everything and our every living bread. He changed our lives. He is why we have such joy. He is why we have every good and perfect thing. So thank you, Jesus. Hey, amen let's to that. It. The Lord bless us and keep us safe on this long ride home. Pray for us that we make it back safely. Here we go. All right, y'all, so we are leaving the state park here at Fall Creek Falls State Park in Tennessee. Here's the babies. And it is always crazy trying to drive through these narrow roads with trees and branches hanging down everywhere. Uh, we've got a 39-foot Class A, which is a pretty big rig. And I love our big rig. It fits our big family, but it is certainly an adventure driving She's super thing. vintage, you see? She's <laughs> looks like she was made in like the 60s. We call her an oldie but a goodie. Such a goodie. Good old diesel pusher. But look at all these white flowers here. Aren't they like, so beautiful? The trees have all these white flowers in bloom. It's, it's early April at the time of our visit. I don't know when I'll actually get to edit and post the video, but it's early April. The white flowers are in bloom. And it has just been my favorite. Oh my word, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Can't help but to praise the Lord for his yes. glory and creation. Yes. I love it so much. I feel so refreshed in Jesus. Yes. And uh, just basking in nature is literally one of my favorite things. Yep. And uh, to do that with my family Ooh, and to have all these Devo times together has been so life-giving. In fact, our six-year-old son, Zane, this morning, uh, while we were rushing to kind of get the RV ready because we've got like a long road trip home, he stopped us and said, guys, let's have morning Devo. And we were all like, praise the Lord. Yes, Zane, that's, that's awesome. a good thing. So, uh, we had our morning Devo. Uh, we read about in uh, Luke chapter 13, how Jesus longs to gather his children under his wings like a mother hen gathering her her uh, little brood and uh, we talked about how we all want to be willing to be gathered by the Lord in his loving care and uh, so that's a that's our word for the day especially as we drive home on a long road trip uh, so uh, we're just so thankful to Jesus because every good and perfect gift comes from him it's, and uh, I just love being with my family. I'm going to miss this place so much. See, look at the family life right here. Everyone's all about family. And, uh... So cute, so cute. This is our crew. The slide out in. So this is our RV life, y'all. And uh, we hope that you enjoy this adventure as we make our way home. Yeah. And... Daniel is so good at driving this big rig. I am so thankful that he loves driving this thing. <laughs> he loves it, it's like his favorite, which makes me so happy because I think it would be um, not my favorite. <laughs> but it's awesome, he's so good at driving this. It, he picked it up so quickly, I was really, really, really impressed. Uh, I thought it would be a bit longer of a learning curve, but maybe it's because we have our 15 passenger vans and we're already used to driving very long and you know wider vehicles than typical i'm not sure if that's why but he's just a stud he picked it up <laughs> my bride is so sweet i've always loved uh driving boats and cars and all that good stuff so driving this what this a guy, guy this, bad, this bad boy well, uh, it's like it's really actually very fun for me uh i'm like woohoo i've got like a 15 hour road trip today that sounds good <laughs> Okay, the funny thing about our family is that we love adventure, right? However, I don't know if you guys know this, I have the worst motion sickness. The worst. I mean, I am on a, if I'm in a car, if I'm in a boat, if I'm in a plane. Um, for all my pregnancies, I had HG, which is hyperemesis gravidarum, where I actually like, threw up like 20 to 30 plus times a day because of this motion sickness issue I have, I've been praying that the Lord would heal me of it because everything we do, if you can imagine, is <laughs> on a boat, on a car, on a train, on, <laughs> on an RV. Um, there's a lot of motion in our lives. 
And so uh, I'm just really thankful that, uh, well, first off, I wear this band. It really helps me with my nausea, but I still get really sick. Um, but it's something that I get to seek the Lord in, even for our adventures, something simple like just getting to and fro um, or doing like all the things like taking care of nine babies on a boat or nine kids on a boat or nine kids in an RV while we're driving. Uh, I just have a little bit, uh, I have to give a little bit more effort. It's a little bit more challenging because I get so sick, but I am thankful to the Lord. If you're here, pray for me for my healing. I would love to be able to do this without feeling nauseous, but at the same time, I'm just so grateful we get to do it. I do it anyways. It's my family. I love them. It's such a gift and such a pleasure to be able to to do these things with them, you know? And I, I must say that my wife is such a gunner. She's so hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think that I was hardcore, and then I, uh. I was like, I don't know how anybody's going to like keep up with my pace, but... But she actually pushes me probably even harder, I think, <laughs> than, uh, than I might drive on my own. So I'm really thankful to God that he blessed me with my bride. Uh, she was definitely the perfect match for me, and God knew that in his beautiful foreknowledge. So I'm so thankful to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for my beautiful bride, Kelly Blaine Bass, whom I love with all my heart. And I'm so glad to have my adventure partner and lover in life and uh, raiser of my children. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord and my precious bride. God certainly does beautiful things and he definitely put us together and made us one. We actually have a pretty cool story in that, you know, we really just met. Uh, what was it? Three months later, he proposed. <laughs> and four months after that, we were married. So <laughs> we hardly knew each other. We were total strangers, but the Lord has worked it out to be such an amazing thing. To him be the glory. He's the reason why we're still together. And it's just honestly, it feels like a fairy tale. There have been the early parts of our marriage. I could say were more like a nightmare because there was selfishness and pride and all these other things that we had to really surrender. Um, but now it's, it's really dreamy and only Jesus can do that. Only he can turn things around like that, redeem things and make them so awesome. So, so grateful to the Lord. So grateful. The Lord made it so clear to me that Kelly was supposed to be my wife. And I knew with full certainty uh, in just a sh like almost pretty much immediately, actually. It wasn't even like those three months of dating weren't like a trial to see if she was the one. It was it was mostly just like a, I don't know. Confirmation. Just, yeah, I mean, just trying to like make sure that it didn't seem so crazy that I just like proposed her on the first day that we became like a dating couple. <laughs> You know, just said that her parents People already nice. thought we were a little nuts. I mean, we were both, you know, <laughs> at university. So he's in dental school. I'm in nursing school. It's a highly academic arena. And, uh, you know, you don't get you don't get engaged after three months when you're <laughs> in college. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I told her, like, the first day that we were dating, I was like, you're, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> All I'll say is that, after almost 14 years later, uh, May 17th of uh, this year of 2023 will be our 14 year anniversary of the day that we got married. So uh, for almost 14 years later, and we are going better than ever, stronger than ever, love so full. And the only reason is because of Jesus. So I uh, wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. So I, all I can say is thank the Lord. He's so good. Amen. Haven, bravely. Haven, bravely. Bravely. Hi, mamas. Bravely. Brr. Hi, baby. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. All right, y'all. Well, when you're driving in the mountains, it is uh, so beautiful. Look at these cliffs off to the left here, and uh, the mountains and the distance. I mean, this is just, this is driving right here, y'all. I love driving up in the mountains. You look at these beautiful cliffs and this nice sharp turn right here. Wow. I gotta, I gotta kind of lay into the brakes a little bit to uh, keep this Class A 39 footer in check, but uh, it is so gorgeous driving out here. I love this. And I got the window open here. The air is like in the 60s. The breeze is a flowing. We got a nice cloud cover keeping us cool. I am just on cloud nine. I got my whole family with me, and uh, this is this is good stuff right here. 
Look at the scenery. Oh my word, it is so scenic. This is beautiful Tennessee here, y'all. Welcome to Tennessee. All right, y'all. Well, we drove for about maybe like an hour, hour and a half, and we came across this Target. Mommy got herself a little Starbucks, and we got a bunch of treats and snacks and arts and crafts for the kids. It was a really nice break. Let's go inside and see uh, what we got here. So, All right, guys, let me see. What all did Mommy get for you guys? Wow, we got like, so, like a dino here that we're gonna paint. And let's see, what did we get here, Laura? Are these coloring pages here? Paper making cards. So they have an outreach at a nursing home tomorrow where Laura and Michelle are gonna be dancing and the boys are gonna be helping put down the dance floor. And so they're gonna make cards for some of the residents that live there. And then I just found some games. <laughs> So cool. You're such a thoughtful mommy, honey. It's a long drive. The babies had a chance to kind of roam for a little while. Uh, just put Bravely back in the seat. Um, where's Haven? Oh, Haven is just working on uh, <laughs> driving the car a little bit. Welcome to Georgia, y'all. We got the crew doing great here. Babies, I think, uh, are they sleeping? They, they are knocked out. The kids are making cards for the outreach for tomorrow, doing some painting. Sheffy and Zane are in the back playing with their excavators and their backhoes. It's pretty good right now. It's pretty great. Love and life. Love our family road trips. Let's keep it going. We've got the cutie pies right here, happy as can be. Uh, we got the kids playing card games right here. We've got some kids playing Nintendo Switch in the back. Uh, but let's go check in on that bike bag and let's, let's see what's going on with that. All right, guys. So sure enough, that guy was being very helpful to uh, warn us about the bike bag that I had dragging behind our car instead of properly being on my bicycle. And the reason why this bag fell off in the first place is because, uh, I mean, it didn't fall off before, it wasn't a problem, but one of the straps broke, and so I used one of these ties to like cinch around the bag, but I guess it wasn't enough. So I'm gonna try to cinch it down a little bit tighter. But there's never a dull moment in the Big Bass family adventure. When trials come our way, we just fix them and keep on rolling. So I'm gonna take care of that now. We'll get back on the road. All right, well, we're all strapped up again. You can see I got uh, the strap through this loop here this time to secure it a little bit better. It's nice and tight right now. Uh, so I'm thinking that that should hold us pretty good. And it's about 6.30 Florida time and we're still uh, I think about 100 miles north of Valdosta, Georgia on I-75. We still got a long ways to go. We took a couple of pit stops at Target and for gas and diaper changes. Uh, so it's going to be a late night, y'all. But I'm still feeling really good, super alert. And um, I'm expecting to make it home safe and sound by the grace of God, Lord willing. So uh, let's check in on the kids and see how they're doing. <laughs> Shepherd peed all over the floor. Oh no. We're trying to serve the kids dinner. The girls did poop. Shep peed all over the floor. Uh, we're trying to make dinner. And let's see, we've got our arts and crafts drying down here. Uh, the girls took my credit cards out and uh, have knocked over my pee jug. <laughs> Just another uh, normal uh, afternoon here in the RV, right, Cal? Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty typical. It's actually all quiet on the west. All, all quiet on the western front right yeah, now. Yeah, this is actually pretty quiet right now. I would say too. So uh, it looks like uh, dinner is already being served, right? Uh, look. What do you got, Zane? Big old, a big old rice. A big old rice and chicken? Yeah. I just, I just got this. So it's like I like carrying. 
Wow, Zane, yeah. that's a big thing of rice. Sheppy, did you go pee pee on the floor? <laughs> but you got your uh, your front loader and your excavator, and you're happy, aren't you? Good boy, Sheppy. Next time, go pee pee in the potty, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get this dinner served up and get some pants back on, some poop cleaned up, some pee cleaned up, and we're gonna hit the road and try to make it home tonight. All right, so Bravely's got my bottle, my can of Polar here. Uh, so uh, then Haven's got my keys, which I would probably be looking for here very shortly. So I hope we don't lose those. And this is our date's dinner table, our craft's table, and our diaper changing table. It is multi-purpose. So I am gonna clear this off and we're gonna get some poop changed out for the babies. All right, so Haven here, Ms. Mama. She's got a poopy diaper. So <laughs> we're gonna get that all cleaned up now, Mama. We're gonna give you maybe a wife to play with. I know, nobody likes getting their butts changed. Okay, here, let's have a little headrest. Sometimes that helps, there we go. And we're gonna get your butt all cleaned up. It's gonna be great. You want a water bottle too? Yeah, yeah, would that be helpful? Oh, there's a lot of poopies! There's a lot of poopies! Let's get you cleaned up, huh? And a one, a two, a three, let's clean you! Yay, Mama! We'll get all your poopies cleaned up. It's gonna be so good! We're all done! Yay! Yay, Haven! Get you a clean diaper. Clean, clean, clean diaper. Yay, clean diapers. So good to have a fresh diaper on a long road trip. Yeah, or else your poop's gonna get uh, what's it called crusty. Yeah. And dusty. And smell like poo a whole kind of dead. Oh yeah, ain't nobody want that. All right, Miss Love, let's see what we got here. Let's get you an oil change. Oh boy, we need a big oil change. There's a lot of mud in the day. Oh. They spilled, baby spilled coffee on my chair though. Oh no. My coffee. They spilled coffee on the chair. We got a coffee spill and we got mud in the tank. We got all sorts of I think we need to empty out the black tank. We got, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Laura, for cleaning up the coffee out the haven spilled. I think we need a, um, to empty out the black tank, Daddy. Yes, we need to empty out Bravely's black tank here. And if you don't know what that is, the black tank in our RV is what unloads all the sewage. So all the sewage from the RV collects in the black tank. And then when we're at the RV park, we empty the black tank. Oh no, Bravely! Did she just stick it in? I think, yeah, she got some poop on her fingers. Okay, we got an emergency. Well, that just okay, okay, okay. Well, it's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Oh, get this! Is so You're perfect. You're perfect, the honey. Beer You're perfect. Is You're perfect. Beer. Look, look, I got it. We got the fingers clean. You are okay, baby. I got you clean, but let's just not touch your poop again, okay, honey? Oh. I got you, baby. I got you clean. <laughs> you are good to go. Oh, God, she bit me. <laughs> 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 oh, now Bravely's clean. Oh, yeah. Fresh diapers. Please, Bravely. Haven, please. Mm, Haven. Mm. Stop <laughs> Where's my other base? Haven! Oh, she's cleaning the camera. Haven! Oh! 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 Yay! Hey, y'all, hi, clean. Joy, boy. All right, 
right, y'all. Everybody is ready to rock and roll. It is 7.25 p.m. in Florida, and again, we're still up in the middle of Georgia. It's a long drive home. Oh, my word. Honey, are we going to make it? We are going to make it. We are going to make it. It is just surprising. You should look up the GPS, and it's always like, oh, 11 hours. So you think, oh, we'll be at home by like 6 or 7, and then you recognize it's 7 o'clock and you're in Georgia. <laughs> so things... In the RV, you have to drive slower, so it takes longer, take various stops for different things. But what I love about having the RV is when we do stop, we can make dinner. When we do stop, we can put food together. When we do stop, we can do crafts, we can change diapers, we can do all the things in our own vehicle. It's like really, really convenient and awesome for our family. So I'm just thankful to the Lord. That's awesome, honey. Well, thanks for that recap. And uh, let's get back on the road. Here we go. On the road again. Just can't wait to get back on that road again. Here we are at Tifton, on our way down through Georgia. The sun is setting and it is a beautiful day. All right, y'all, well, we are in Valdosta, Georgia. Just took a pit stop and filled up the gas tank here and uh, did a little dirty diaper change for Bravely. And now that we're all filled up, we're gonna get back in and hopefully we don't have to stop again until we make it back home. So let's rock and roll. And just to give you a quick picture into the RV, we've got Abraham working feverishly on solving his Rubik's Cube. He's been having a lot of fun with that. Haven's got her favorite little Bobo and milk bottle. And just look at how cute she is. Oh my goodness. We've got Mama the Mama taking care of the babies. We got Miss Bravely Love. We gotta strap her in before we go, but she's looking so cute. I love you girls. We've got Sheppy up front chilling until we get ready to go. He just went pee in the pee jug and he's got his excavator. Hey Zane. All right, we got Eman working on a Rubik's Cube here too. And then we've got the kiddos in the back. And this is one of our favorite things about RV trips is that the kiddos can just have fun back here and relax. Now they don't do this all day. They are playing Nintendo Switch at the moment. Uh, this is definitely not an all day activity, but after they have done lots of reading and clean the RV and help take care of the babies, uh, we give them the opportunity to play and they love that. All right guys, well uh, I think let's get back on the road, right Haven Hope? Yeah, baby. So a fun fact about our year 2000 bounder is that the dashboard lights did not work. Found out after we bought the vehicle and I was driving home and was coming into night and I was like, huh, I can't see the dashboard. So I got this little cheapy light right here off of Amazon for like 15 bucks. And it's actually pretty sweet. It gives me like an amber color to the dashboard here. So it's not like glaring in my face. Um, and it works just fine lighting everything up so I can see the speedometer and my fuel tank and all that fun stuff. Uh, so yeah, so that's kind of like a little interesting thing about our bounder. Uh, this little light is a light saver. <laughs> and here we are, welcome to Florida. Florida welcomes you. And uh, yeah, we're excited to be in Florida. Here we go, only about five hours left. Okay, y'all, it's about 12.40 a.m. We are at a rest stop on the Turnpike in Florida, uh, just a little bit outside of Orlando. Uh, we've still got a little over two hours drive home, and it's almost 1 a.m. Uh, the drive is definitely taking a little bit longer than we were hoping it to. Uh, but that's okay, uh, just took a little pit stop and uh, ready to push on through for the next two hours to get home. So uh, everybody is sleeping tight or still doing Rubik's Cubes or playing video games. We would never let the kids stay up this late normally, but on a road trip, we just try to have a lot of extra grace. Okay, y'all, it's about 2.10 in the morning and uh, just pulled off at a rest stop off the turnpike at Port St. Lucie. Uh, we're about 
45, 50 minutes away from the house. I'm getting a little sleepy, so I pulled off, rested my eyes for a couple minutes. I've got a whole bag of apples here that I intend to just keep on eating until we get home to help keep me awake. And, and Kelly's back here. She's she's gonna she's got my back, so she's gonna make sure I don't fall asleep. So we're almost there for the dream. Here we go. All right, y'all. We just made it back here, safe and sound, at our house in Florida. Praise be to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's about 3:10 a.m. Florida time, which is about 2:10 a.m. Tennessee time. We left at around about nine o'clock in the morning and we got here at about two in the morning Tennessee time I think Haven might have just woken up I gotta go get her in a second uh, but it, so that's about a 17 hour road trip today in the motorhome with all the crew uh, but by the grace of God we got here safe and sound I'm alert alive and super awake I had like four coffees today a couple of teas and probably about like six apples and a bunch of other stuff but anyways um, I'm alert alive well drove here safe and sound and uh, everybody is uh, doing great and Kelly just took bravely and Shepard inside to get them ready for bed and now I'm about to go get Haven and then I'm gonna get all the other kids all settled and uh, we're gonna try to get a couple maybe a couple hours of sleep before all the kiddos start waking up again uh, to start a new day but God is so good. I'm so thankful we made it here safely. Uh, it's been an amazing trip, such an amazing trip. So thankful to Jesus that we got to take this time together as a family and spend it in such a beautiful place together. We had family devotionals every day uh, for like 30 minutes to an hour or more. Uh, just so much just spiritual encouragement and phys physical refreshment in the springs with adventure and just fun together as a family. Uh, this has definitely been one of my favorite family trips because while the nature was beautiful, but two, we also had just a great balance of spiritual encouragement and also just physical fun with the family, uh, getting to explore God's beautiful creation. So uh, all I can say is thank you, Jesus. And I'm so thankful to my family uh, for all the great memories. So guys, I am going to go get Haven. She is just kind of half awake, half asleep. We're going to go get her in her real bed for the first time in about a week. Get all the kiddos in their regular beds and uh, try to catch a couple hours of shut eye before the next day starts up. So y'all, thanks for joining us on this epic RV adventure. Grace and peace be with you. The Lord Jesus bless you. Take care and we'll see you on the next Big Bass Family Adventure. Peace. How was that road trip, honey? Good. You happy to be home? Yeah. Excited to get in your bed? Yeah. I love you so much. Yeah. Good night, honey. Yeah. You happy to be home, you man? Yes. Yeah. Alright, good night, buddy. I love you. Yeah. Hey, Zeke, you happy to be home, man? Mm -hmm. Is that a good road trip? Mm -hmm. I love you, man. Good night. Haven, was that a good road trip, Mama? Yeah? You happy to be home, Mama? Mm. Let's go get you to bed, baby. Hope you go to sleep again. Good night.